What's up guys, I'm Mavs here and this is our final video in the Summer School Series for Foundation. This is the very last topic, so really well done for those of you who've managed to work your way through all the topics that we've covered. We will have more videos uh, coming soon uh, for Foundation, so stay tuned, make sure you're subscribed to keep up to date. But this is our last video in the Summer School Series. Um, if you are watching this in... Uh, where are we? May. Um, we are going to be looping around again on the onmaths.com website for the summer school. So you will have a chance to work through all the questions that you haven't managed to cover. So if you joined the summer school late, we're going to loop around again so you can do all those early topics. Anyway, that aside, let's get started with vectors. So really important thing to, to realize or to know with vectors is all they show is a direction. Um, normally the direction is diagonal and the way they show it is by two numbers that are in, in these kind of brackets. The top number tells you how far right to go and the bottom number tells you how far up to go. Now, if you want to go left, just make the top number negative. If you want to go down, make the bottom number negative. So what this is saying here is PQ is going to go three to the right and four up. But what they want us to do is do five lots of that. So if you just focus on the um, going right bit, we go go three to the right, but we're going to do that five times. So we're going to just times that by five, and all together we're going to go 15 to the right. Looking at the bottom, we're going to go four up, but we're going to go four up five times. Four times five, 20. OK, so whenever you times um, a vector by a number, you just times the top and then times the bottom. Simple as that. Now, this next question, all we do is we focus on the top first. So we're going h to the right, then another 2 to the right. And then we're going to go, if you look, because there's negative there, we're going to do the opposite of whatever it says in there. Um, so it says 3 to the right, but we're going to go 3 to the left. So we're going to take away 3. Now it says that equals zero. So let's just get our lines in. Oh, if we need our lines, no we don't. Let's, let's not bother with the lines today. Ah, let's go for it. Why not? So get our lines in. Okay, so two take away three is minus one. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna plus one both sides. And so we've got h equals one, or h equals one. Wicked, right, do the same to the bottom. So we've got, we're going five up, then we're gonna go K up, and then we're gonna go three down, and we're gonna end up with zero. Get our lines in. Okay, so we've got five take away three, which is two. And we're gonna take away two both sides. So K equals minus two. So this is the kind of first technique we learn with these, is to do the top first, then do the bottom, and do them separately. Don't try and do them all at once. Okay, this is a graphical vector. This is what it looks like. Now remember, the top one tells us how far right it goes. The bottom one tells us how far up it goes. So it says from A to B. Now this is just like a road going from A to B, this road here. But let's use a different color so it shows up. So this road here is road AB, okay? And it's saying it goes zero to the right, which is true, because it's not going right at all, is it? And minus eight up. Remember, if it's a minus, it means down. So it's going eight down. Well, look, you can count the squares. It's going eight down. Perfect. Okay, so it says use the diagram to complete the vector sum. So we've got AB already filled in, but we've got to work out what BC so let's have a look at BC. Now BC will be this one here. Okay, so well, let's use a different color and then it will show a little bit better. Okay, so how far to the right is it going? So we count this jump, so one, two, three, four, five, six, it's going six to the right. How far up is it going? Well, it's not going up, so just zero, okay? Now we're doing CA, which is from C to A. 
Okay, bit of a harder one here, but if we count the um, jumps to the right first, where well, it's going left, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six to the left. So we show that with a minus six. And how far up is it going? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's going eight up. Okay, something you might notice is when you do zero plus six, take away six. In fact, let's just show that. Zero plus six, take away six, which is the top bit, you end up with zero. When you do the bottom bit, minus eight plus zero plus eight, you get zero. So when you add up all those vectors, you get zero, which kind of makes sense because when you've gone from A to B to C to A, you haven't really done anything. You've just kind of stayed where you're at. And it asks us here to give a reason. And um, oh, what you do is you just say um, that um, we've returned to where we started. So we've gone on a journey, we've gone on a journey to B, we've gone on a journey to C, but we've ended up being back exactly where we started. So the overall vector is just nothing. Like overall, we've done nothing because we've returned um, back to um, where we started. However, we've got to be careful because we have done something. We've gone to B and C. So just try not to write down um, something like we haven't done anything, no movement, uh, anything like that um, and say that we've returned so it's an active thing we've gone back to where we started okay we move on to edXL and OCR's question the first question we've had is the only graphical one um, we've got today if you want to practice more with the graphical ones just um, go to our website on master.com we've got loads and loads of graphical ones like ones you have to count squares and stuff um, but these are all just to do with column vectors um, and we're asked to do two lots of A plus uh, one lot of B for the um, edXL question. So remember, all we do to find two lots of A is get the top number and we times it by two and get the bottom number and we times it by two. And this will be for the 2A. So that will be 10 and 4. Be really careful not to put an over, it's not a fraction, so just make sure we don't do that. And so when we do 2a plus b, it's going to be um, that 10 for the top of the 2a, plus minus 1, which would just be take away 1, and we've got that 4 plus 7. So 10 take away 1 is 9, and 4 plus 7 is 11. So it's going to be 9 there. 11 there. Last up is our AQA question and you can see that um, from the numbers of these questions that um, the edXL and this question are very late on in the paper. In fact this is the very last question on the paper and yet is it that difficult? Well no, not when you know the trick it's very very simple. So we're asked to do A plus B plus C. So what we're going to do is we're going to just add all the tops so 6 plus minus 1. So plus and a minus make a minus so 6 take away 1 plus minus 4, so it would be take away 4. Then minus 10, plus 2, plus 7. Okay, so do the tops and bottoms separately. Uh, we don't need that mind. So 6 take away 1 is 5, 5 take away 4 is 1. Minus 10 plus 2 is minus 8. Minus 8 plus 7 is minus 1. And so that's a nice 2 mark question, just because we know the simple rules for this. Right, next question. Uh, we need to show that A plus 2C e equals K um, times B, where K is an integer. So the first thing we're going to focus on is this A plus 2C. So we just have the A's there. So um, 2C we're going to work out first of all. So that's going to be uh, minus 4 times 2, which is minus 8 and 7 which is the bottom number times 2 which is 14 so let's now work out a plus 2c so that's going to be 6 plus minus 8 so 6 take away 8 and um, the bottom number minus 10 plus 14 
and that's going to equal 6 take away 8 is minus 2 and minus 10 plus 14 or 14 take away 10 is 4. So we just have a look at B. B at the moment is minus 1, 2. So I need to find something, in fact let's just draw that again. Right. I need to find something to multiply minus 1 by to get to minus 2. So this one to get to this one. And I need something to multiply 2 by to get to 4. And hopefully <laughs> they're the same number. Well, obviously we just times it by 2. So let's check that. So minus 1 times 2 is minus 2. 2 times 2 is 4. And you can see that 2b and a plus 2c is exactly the same vector. And show the examiner that k equals 2. And I even underline it just to highlight that fact. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video and found it useful. If you did, please click like. We will be releasing um, further videos going forward. So just click subscribe and the bell icon to make sure you're up to date. Um, we're not going to be releasing um, videos uh, probably this week. Um, just so we can plan and figure out what we're going to do after summer school. Um, we actually want your help for that. Um, so please... Uh, write down comments about what you want us to cover. We've had a few ideas so far, but we could do with a lot more stuff because the whole point of this YouTube channel is to help you guys. So unless you tell us uh, what you want us to cover and what will be helpful, um, then we're not as effective at doing that as we can be. So keep those comments coming in. We might release a video just asking for comments, asking for help, asking for ideas of what you think will be useful because we've got loads of ideas what we think will be useful but unless it comes from you it will never be as effective um, and also if you haven't already check out on uh, website which will be a link in the uh, top of the video now and um, just click on that will take you straight there full of wonderful maths resources to help you with your maths completely free um, and we are going to be starting some school again as of tomorrow um, so if you're watching this video in May summer school will be looping back again uh, once more so you can complete any other topics you didn't manage to get um, done before otherwise thank you very much and i'll see you the next time i see you